Rather you're a simplifier, minimalist, or simply don't have the space. I'm sure we can all agree that a diaper changing station is nice to have. <laughs> if you just Google diaper changing station, the majority of them are big, bulky, and clunky. What I'm about to show you is portable, practical, and will not take up a large amount of space. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Bum, 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 bum. Hello, hello. You're listening to Voyage to Self, where we discuss personal development, motherhood, and lifestyle. Hey, so nothing too fancy, but this is my diaper changing station. Just got this thing here, the wipes, and the diaper bag. Well, the diaper bag. A little caddy. So, um, a lot of these things can be found on Amazon. Let us put this receiving blanket down just because, like, in yeah, case it's like a little cold or something. Don't want baby to be cold. Don't change his diaper. Like, he wants to be cold. Um, I'll show you guys what's inside. Let's see. inside my diaper caddy I have let's see the start here this little spatula to rub the A&D ointment on his bum um diapers he's a growing boy so he's growing out of the one we're going into the twos you could fit both just fine but I'm just trying to get rid of all these ones so we've been using them up and this is all he has left um let's see Big tub of Andy ointment. Like I said, a lot of stuff can be found on Amazon. Some extra clothes in case he pees through his clothes or whatever. That's just extra Andy ointment down there. In case he pees through his clothes or whatever. Here's an extra changing mat. Um, holds up. Or in case I want to like change him out in the living room or something. Or just anywhere else besides here. <laughs> <laughs> he has some saline, or, I mean some saline drops on his nose, it's a little stuffy, extra pacifier, some of these things, let's see, we're going this way now, Here's his little hair grooming stuff, a little brush, a little comb. This is some leave-in conditioner by Honest. It smells really good, I love it. These are the ingredients, in case anyone's wondering. And, um, let's see. I love how these are individually wrapped. They're like little tongue brushes. Because he gets both breastfed and formula fed. So, um, this is what I use on them. And this is to suck out the boogers. I love this thing because I personally don't really like picking out boogers. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes you do have to pick them out with the hands. With my fingers, but... Little booger snatcher. I like it. I think it works well. I have no problems with it. This is just lotion. Cause I also use this around bath time too. So that's why I use some bath items in here. Moisturize them. Or if you just ash, you know, just throw a little bit of lotion. And um, it looks like that's pretty much everything. Got some nipple cream up in there. And over here I have my um wipes and water. Pickle Pop has a lifetime one. Has a little light on it, super convenient. See what's going on in there. As you can tell, I can be using it. And yeah, 
simple swoop. And I'm gonna show you the diaper towel that I use. It's one of these things. It's like right next to my setup. The video I just showed you was from a couple months ago, so everything is going to look a little different. Um, something I've added since then is a ah thermometer. Woohoo! You can just scan it right on baby. Real simple, easy to use. And I forgot to mention bags. Where else are you gonna put the diaper? And as long as you shop at stores that still carry plastic, reduce, reuse, recycle, diaper, garbage bag, diaper pail, portable mobile thing, bam, you're welcome. <laughs> but yeah, just an idea I just wanted to throw out there in case anyone was wondering, how can they make use of the space that they have? And that's it, bada bing, bada boom, bada bow. <laughs> Help a mama out. Play some mom hacks down below while you're at it. Comment down below. Is there anything in your diaper chain station that's not in mine but I probably should have? And three must-have items for the soon-to-be moms. Thank you so much for watching that video. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed my content. Also, share with someone else who may find this video useful. Alright y'all, bye.